All right, what's up, guys? It's Cashwin Campbell, Mr. Get Cash with Cash, the real estate coaching podcast, all of that stuff. So make sure you subscribe right here on my YouTube channel. Um, hit the like button, right? Share this video, right? So if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I share a lot of information regarding real estate, um, how you can get into real estate, how you can build your real estate business, all of that amazing stuff. All right, so hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share this on your social media platforms. Um, today, what we're going to be speaking about uh, is how you can get more out of your real estate buyer leads, right? So before we get into that, um, shout out to my daughter, Cora Campbell. She just um, designed her own, actually created her own lip gloss. That's what I'm wearing right now. So I'm just wearing some of the Tess Cosmetics right <laughs> um so i was doing that today daddy daughter day as usual um so yeah so we're going to talk about how you can start to get more out of your real estate leads really start to build um your real estate uh brand by putting more buyers in contract and making more money right so i speak to agents all the time you know agents who are part of uh, my company who have questions about how can they get more out of buyer leads meaning you know they're they're speaking to people but it's just not connecting they're talking to people they're just not bringing them out right bringing them out to see property so remember in this business we make money when we bring people out to see properties that's how we make money so if you can't get them off the phone to the house then you have a problem right so let's start it off this way. You know, what do we do if we get a buyer who comes in, especially as an internet lead? Because a lot of you, you know, you have Zillow, you have all these other platforms that are providing you with leads, but I don't think age, some agents have the tools or the know-how on how to actually convert these leads, right? So let's talk about internet leads, right? So if you're, if you're dealing with internet leads, right? you should call the lead within five to 10 minutes. So as soon as that lead comes in, you should give that person a call, right? Because the, the, the concept behind that is when the person sends the inquiry, they're most likely in front of the computer at that time, so or in front of their phone at that time, so they might just answer if you call, right? So now you gave them a call within five to 10 minutes, Let's say you didn't get them on the phone. So if you didn't get them on the phone, I believe in giving the prospect three ways to get back to you. Because we live in a world today where you know you have millennials, right? Who primarily communicate, not primarily, but a lot of millennials communicate uh, through text, right? That's their preferred method of communication. You have, you know, you may have the older generation who may like to communicate by phone. They like to hear your voice to make sure you're a real person, right? Um, the mature generation, let me not say the older generation, but the mature generation, right? So um, being that people communicate and like to communicate in different ways, you have to meet the buyer where they are, right? Um, so, you know, I usually send a text, an email, um, I leave a voicemail, and I call, right? Those th you have to give the buyer a way to communicate back with you. So a buyer who likes um, who likes to communicate by email, well, he's going to email you back. A person who likes to communicate by phone, who you left a voicemail for, he's going to call you back. A person who likes to communicate by text, he's going to text you back, right? So you have to give the prospect different ways to get back in touch with you right if you only leave a if you only leave a voicemail right this person may be working a lot right they they'll they work better by text so they may not think to text you right but if you call text email left a voicemail right you gave them so many different ways of getting back in touch with you another thing that i like to do is to put buyers on automatic automatic emails right because if you have a buyer right a buyer um 
may just, you know, they just may be busy. People work a lot, especially here in New York. You know, people have to work to survive, right? So you, they work a lot. So you have to have different methods in place to get in touch with people and to service people who may be more busy uh, than the average person, right? So one of the best ways to do that is automatic emails, drip campaigns. So just the same way, you know, when you go to Sears or you go to, uh, Sears is not even busy anymore. But when you go to these um, retail outlets, they take your email. There's a reason why they take your email. They want to send you drip emails, right? And the drip emails is important because, you know, it's sending out properties. You could be sending out market updates, right? And most of the MLS systems out there have a drip email, right? Also called a prospect search, right? Um, an order, auto emails, right? So every time something is listed that fit the buyer's criteria that you saved in the system, it will send them out a actual, it will send them out some actual information. So you really want to start focusing on how you can start to beat the competition. You really want to start to focus on how you can do more for your buyers, right? It's important that everybody understands that. You got to think of different ways on how you can start to do more for your customers, right? So guys, this is Cash Rain Campbell. Have you hit the subscribe button yet, right? So if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Have you shared this video yet? Make sure you share this video right now. I share a lot of important information pertaining to real estate. Make sure you subscribe, guys. And also make sure you check out the Real Estate Coaching Podcast, right? We have episodes uh, covering all sorts of different topics. So make sure you cover the Real Estate Coaching Podcast. If you're interested in getting started in real estate, make sure you click the link below. I'm looking forward to working with you. So my name is Cash Wayne Campbell, guys. Make sure you follow me also on Instagram, Get Cash With Cash. So guys, I'll definitely see you guys on the beaches of the world, definitely at the bank. You enjoy your day.